hello everyone welcome back to my channel now let us understand how to install the python so first go to google open the google and type python now i have already typed python in the google now you can see python dot org website and just click you will be getting this python dot org website in that uh, click on the downloads and latest version will be displayed so latest version 3.7.4 whatever the latest version will be there so that latest version so just click on that latest version uh, you can see the set of files the versions operating system which supports these versions are there so we need uh, windows x 8664 web based installer and uh, there is executable installer so we want this file so just click on this uh, 64 bit executable installer the installer installation get starts now you can see so once the installation process gets over just simply click on it just minimize this window now you can see the open file the installer is ready now install python so there is an option install now so by default it will install in the c drive and it will choose a by default location so you want to change you can change it or you can go for customize installation so customize installation also there so you can choose the location and feature so click on this add python 3.7 to path so by default path will be set so for that we need to click on add python 3.7 so let us click on customize so you can choose the optional features simply click next these are the advanced features we have and you can choose the location also so you can select the location right uh, you can choose the different location by clicking browse also or simply you can type direct uh, here so i am installing in python folder c drive python folder so let me show you here this computer there is c drive right so i can create here also by right clicking creating a new folder and i can name it as python so i can install in this folder right customize install location so this is my location where my python 3.7 will get installed click on install button to complete the setup so once the process gets complete so it is in progress so your python 3.7.4 whatever the latest version is there so that latest version you can install so setup once completed it will show like this setup was completed just click on close button and now we can check the python so just click start so there is all apps you can go to all apps so recently added python 3.7 module docs ideally is there integrated development learning environment and uh, you can click on expand to expand uh, this is the shell the python 3.7 version in bracket 64 bit is there so ideally we can click on ideally so it's a integrated development learning environment so now you can see this is the environment so configure ideally so just you can change the font size just i am increasing it apply and okay okay now this is the python cell 
interactive mode is available so in this interactive mode i can type like a print hello right so hello world and simply enter so you will be getting the hello world as your answer for this statement so one by one statement can be executed in this cell okay so this is how we can work on the python and you can go for the command prompt also to know what version you have installed in the system so you want to know the python version so simply type python double hyphen version and enter key so python 3.7.4 this is the version which is installed in our computer now let us move further and understand how we can uh, install the pycharm so pycharm is the ide so now you can see there is a pycharm so simply type pycharm in the google you will be getting www.jetbrains.com right so it is a ide so just open this website so jetbrains.com click on downloads there are two versions available means you will be getting professional version and community version for the windows similarly mac os is there linux is there you can get the pycharm for mac and linux so we want for windows so community for pure python development and it is a free and open source software as we say python and pycharm are a free source software so it is free so simply click on link community version so downloaded starts downloading so once download completes click on the download and uh, downloader dialog box gets open so click on run click on yes and welcome to pycharm community edit setup so simply click next so this is the by default location of the pycharm so click next right so create a desktop shortcut so click on the check box update context menu just click check box create association yes click and add launcher directory to path click yes yes click next button install now the pycharm community edition gets installed in your computer so once the installation gets over you can able to write the program you can execute one by one statement or you can uh, work on this pycharm as a editor so once uh, installation get completes now you can see completing pycharm community edition setup whether you want to reboot now or you want to manually reboot so better to uh, reboot once the installation gets over right so your computer will uh, restart or you can go for the manual uh, re reboot so two options are available so just click on finish now you can see the icon is uh, displayed on your screen so double click on the icon so this is jet brain pycharm community edition so pycharm setting form is there so configure and install the folder or do not import the setting so do not import the setting click on i confirm that i have read and accept the term of this and this is the by default darkula so you click on the light so your uh, window gets uh, converted into this uh, light means uh, background would be white color and all okay so there is idea vim markdown language support so you want to install just click on install so mark down language support now this is welcome to pycharm window right so you can create a new project click on new project so you can 
uh, write the title so your programs will store into pycharm projects so it is untitled you can specify your project title here so like i am typing so test one is my project name right so it will display the tip of the day so click on the close button just maximize it so this is the project name test one right so just click on test one right click new python file so just type the name of your python file test.py so your test.py file is created now in this file you can type print hello world right so once the typing gets over if you click on the run menu and run option so at first time it will display edit configuration so to edit configuration so click on edit configuration edit configuration or run debug configuration dialog box gets appeared right at the top you can find click the plus button to create a new configuration based on templates right so already there is a configuration available in the services click on the plus button and you can choose python because python is already installed so you can choose the python so click on the python and you can click on run so already configuration is set right click and uh, click on the run so your test.py gets run and you can see the result hello world is displayed right so this is how you can work on this pie charm right so editor is also available and once you run the program you can able to see the result in the same window so this is the id le or we say ide integrated development environment thank you